Hi, and welcome to another video in my Quick Fix series, where we quickly fix a common problem. In this lesson, we're looking at the difference between affect with an A and effect with an E. Keep watching until the end as there's a quiz to see how much you've learned. So what is the difference between affect and effect? In 90% of cases, affect is used as a verb and effect is used as a noun. Notice there is a small difference in pronunciation of the two words. Affect with an A is pronounced as if it's an A, uh, like an umbrella, whereas effect is pronounced with an I sound, like eat. So A for effect equals V for verb, and E for effect equals N for a noun. A, V, E, N. Think of an avenue, a long tree-lined avenue, and you will remember A, V, E, N, Effect, verb, effect, noun. So, most commonly, effect is used as a verb and it means to have an influence on someone or something, or to cause a change in someone or something. For instance, the pay increase will greatly affect their lifestyle. This means that the pay increase, so more money, will influence or change their lifestyle. So they'll have more money to spend on maybe a bigger house or a new car. Or, the weather will affect my plans for the weekend. So here, the weather or the rain will influence or change my plans for the weekend. Maybe I planned a picnic, but now I will have to change those plans. Okay, effect with an E, on the other hand, is most commonly used as a noun and means the result of a particular influence. For instance, I think I'm suffering from the effects of too little sleep. So because you had too little sleep, the result is that you are very tired. Or the pollution in the city had a bad effect on me. This means the result of the pollution is bad for me. I can't breathe well. So remember, Effect with an A is mainly used as a verb and effect uh, with an E is mainly used as a noun. Remember your avenue and you will remember which verb to use. As a learner of English as a foreign language, I would focus on these main meanings as they are by far the most common usages. The other uses of effect and effect are often not known or misunderstood by mother tongue speakers but I will give you their meanings now. So, effect with an A can be used as a noun, but it's purely when talking about psychology, and it means either emotion or desire. For example, this, says Jung, is because they confuse feeling with emotion or effect. And effect with an E can be used as a verb, and it means to achieve something and cause it to happen, this is much more formal in English and not usually seen or heard in spoken English. So, for example, the new economic policies did little to effect change. This means they did little to bring about or cause change. So now it's your turn. Let's see how much you've understood. Fill in the gaps with either affect with an E, with an A, or effect with an E. Most people these days understand the serious blank of smoking. Effects. This is a noun, so we use effects with an E. Remember avenue, effect verb, effect noun, and it means the serious result of smoking. Two, the cold weather has really blank her health. Write your answers down below in the comment section and I promise to let you know if you get it right or not. So that's it for today's quick fix. Remember avenue and you remember effect with an A equals verb and effect with an E equals noun. Check out the playlist here for more quick fixes and remember to subscribe to my channel Oxford English Now for more free English language videos on speaking, vocabulary, pronunciation and grammar. So see you very soon and thank you for watching.